Hello, so recently I created this video about how to use the HTML native dialog element together with Turbo Streams to create the perfect models with Hotwire. And it looked more or less like this. I could open a model, I would have a new comment uh, form pop up, I would be able to render uh, errors or unsuccessful form submission, I would uh, close the model and render the elements on the page. You would also be able to navigate within the Turbo Frame model. So here I click on show, I click on edit, I will add something, I go and submit it successfully and I am redirected back to the show inside the model and if I delete the element, the element gets removed from the page and I close the model. But uh, it kind of works, but it doesn't work in an optimal way. You see here the body tag is really bloated. I have uh, the data controller dialog that is on the body tag. It's not the best uh, pattern and I have this content that is always present on all the pages. And now, even if I just refresh the page, there is always a possibility for having an uh, open empty dialog. So uh, it's always present in the HTML and we don't really want it. So let's clean up this approach a bit and make it uh, a bit more reusable uh, uh, across the app. So first of all, I'm going to clean up all this stuff from the body tag. I'm going to remove it and uh, I will put it, for example, into the new action. We're going to uh, redo it a bit now. And inside the application HTML, we are still going to have an empty turbo frame tag and we don't need anything on it. So we'll have a tu empty turbo frame tag that is going to be populated uh, when we uh, go to the new action. We are going to have the turbo frame model and everything is going to be rendered inside the model. Now uh, let's clean this up. This is going to be uh, actually on the dialog element. So we don't need this tag. And uh, this was uh, for rendering the page content. So we are just going to push the page content uh, inside here. Uh, okay, let's just clean up the HTML a bit. And so now we are going to have the dialog inside the tuba frame and not inside the, the application layout. So uh, then have the styling, the close button and the actual content of the page that is uh, here. Let's uh, refresh and see if it works. I click on new comment, nothing seems to have happened. Let's refresh the page and see once again. I'll click on inspect. If I go to the network tab, we have the new page rendered. If we go to elements, uh, body, turbo frame model, you see, uh, the model was actually populated with the dialogue and the page content, but uh, it was not rendered. So if we go to the dialog controller, we can just say that uh, on connect. So when we go to the new action, when this uh, controller is connected, we are going to open it. Let's say this dot open. Uh, I will refresh, click on new comment and you see uh, it actually opened a model. So the model seems to be working for the new action now. And now we added it to the page. Let's uh, check the inspect and see if everything is okay here. You see we got this uh, error, error invoking turbo submit and dialog submit and because we have a missing target element frame. So uh, why is it so? Previously inside the application HTML we had this data dialog target frame that we used to clear out uh, the model when we already submit it. So you see now we have uh, like no model visible, but if we go to the HTML, um, yeah, let me just open close. You see, I closed the model, but inside the HTML, we still have the model content. It is because uh, we didn't uh, have this frame target to clean up the model. And uh, to clean it up, we are going to actually, uh, we can't use this frame anymore because the data controller dialog is within the turbo frame. So let's uh, just uh, find another way to clean up the turbo frame. So we need to clean up this turbo frame model. We will say uh, uh, const frame uh, equals uh, document dot get element by ID. The ID is going to be modal. And we will say uh, uh, frame remove attribute and frame remove uh, in HTML. Let's see if this works. So I will click on new comment. Uh, the content was added to the page. I click outside and uh, it was removed from the model. So uh, one less uh, 
problem. So we can now clean up the content of the model when we refresh the page. But uh, this still doesn't look uh, really nice. So uh, first of all, we don't need this data dialog target model anymore. We can just target this element because uh, uh, the dialog is, uh, well, on the dialog now. <laughs> so uh, I'm cleaning up this target model, removing it from here. And everywhere where we have this model target, I'm going to replace it with this element. Okay, so some more cleanup. Uh, we don't need the stimulus targets anymore. And let's see if it works for the new comment. I will try adding something in the body. And it works. But we still need to make the edit action and show action work. You see, they get rendered in this bizarre way on the bottom of the page because uh, we just have this turbo frame tag model uh, that is on the bottom of the page. If we had it on top of the page, they would be rendered on top of the page. So we need to also have uh, this uh, uh, dialog wrapped inside the edit page and show page. But uh, we don't want to just copy all this uh, bloat of uh, HTML. So let's make it a bit more reusable. And to do, to do this, we can have uh, actually a partial that will contain this. And uh, this will be rendered within that partial. So let's create a new partial. Let's say uh, underscore turbo dialog.html.erb. I'll copy all this here. And where we have our actual page content, we will have a yield. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, wrapper, the modal, the dialog. And uh, now inside this new action, instead of uh, all of this, we can just have uh, a partial rendered. So we'll have render layouts slash turbo dialog. Okay, so uh, this is kind of a wrapper around uh, all our Tubo models. So uh, this will contain the modal, the dialog, and uh, this way we can use this in other partials. So uh, I will just go to the show page and replace Tubo frame model with layouts Tubo dialog and also in the edit action. Let's now go and check if it works. I will click on show comment. You see it's rendered in the modal. I'll click on edit, also rendered in the modal. Navigating within the modal works well. And uh, everything looks quite good. So this way we uh, cleaned up our previous approach. Uh, a lot of cleanup in the HTML and in the uh, JavaScript. And there's one more thing we can do. You see, if we go to comment slash new, uh, we still have it rendered in this model. And if we close the model, we have an empty page. So let's say that we want con comments new and comments uh, slash whatever slash edit uh, to be rendered only inside models so that we cannot access these pages uh, outside of uh, a model. Like, for example, by clicking open in new, new tab. Let's try open them in a new tab. You see, they're all opened inside kind of a model. But we don't want to, to open them on a blank page in a model. So uh, let's go to our controller and say that these actions can be opened only inside the tuba frame. Let's go to the uh, comments controller and uh, uh, add some kind of private method uh, named uh, ensure frame response. And uh, let's say redirect to root path unless Tubo frame request. So uh, the controller knows that we render it inside a Tubo frame request, and if not, then it will redirect to the root path. Let's uh, see if it works. I will uh, go uh, here and uh, add the before action, ensure frame uh, response uh, for new, and uh, edit and for show. And uh, yeah, I think that's uh, it. Let's click on the uh, open in new tab and you see we get redirected to the comments page. So from here, I get redirected to comments from here and from here because these are tuba frame requests and we should be able to open these pages only inside tuba frames. So 
it works and uh, now our approach is much more future proof and we can uh, reuse it much more easily around our application thanks for being with me and see you in the next one